Hi, I'm film critic Chuck Wilson, and today we're talking about non-stop. I hate flying. The lines, the crowds, the delays. I always kind of liked it. Six hours, one seat, nobody can get to you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard our non-stop service from New York to London. I fly much? All the time, actually. It must be time for Liam Neeson to kick some ass. Non-stop actually lives up to its title. It's so relentlessly paced that you will not want to drink a soda because you won't want to have to get up and go to the bathroom. The director is Jean Colette Serra. He has all sorts of tricks up his sleeve, including letting the text messages float across the screen so that we can read them. He keeps things racing along really nicely for a solid 90 minutes, but not even Alfred Hitchcock himself could have done anything with the final revelation of why the bad guy is doing what he's doing. The explanation is so silly and so muddled that even the poor actor, who's really very quite good, can't make it work. He looks confused too. But it doesn't matter. Anyone who goes to see a movie like Nonstop expecting logic doesn't know much about movies. So tear the movie apart on the drive home. That's part of the fun. But while you're in the theater, just set your brain to thriller mode. Sit back and enjoy the ride.